never stop to think about the vastness of the universe and how insignificant our existence truly is. While we may be blessed with the gift of life, spanning anywhere from 70 to 100 years, there are dark corners of space that can snuff out that existence in mere seconds. These enigmatic objects are not black holes, but they are just as deadly. In fact, if you were to find yourself in the vicinity of a magnetar, you would be torn apart in a matter of seconds. Join us as we delve into the world of magnetars and uncover the mysteries that lie within these elusive entities. All right, space explorers, let's demystify this buzzword, magnetar. In simple terms, a magnetar is a special kind of neutron star, born from the explosive end of a massive star's life. Neutron stars are the remnants of massive stars, but consider their whole mass packed within 20 kilometers. That's where things get interesting. Well, if you want to know more about the formation of neutron stars, check out the link in the top right corner. Picture a star going supernova, leaving behind a compact neutron star. This neutron star faces a cosmic crossroads, will it remain a neutron star, transform into a pulsar, or evolve into the magnetic powerhouse we call a magnetar. Now, think of pulsars as neutron stars in turbo mode, spinning hundreds of times per second and emitting a pulsating beam from their magnetic poles. It's like they're running a lighthouse show, visible only when that beam is aimed at something. But how does a neutron star level up to become a magnetar? Well, it cranks up the magnetism to an insane degree, billions of times stronger than your fridge magnet. Here's the kicker. Only one out of 10 neutron stars take this magnetar route. The rest hang out as pulsars. So, it's a rare celestial phenomenon. In just a few moments, you'll be happy to discover its exceptional rarity. Magnetars don't play around when it comes to magnetism. They are the most powerful magnetic entities found in the universe as we know it. Imagine a magnet so powerful that it makes your average fridge magnet look like a mere speck in the magnetic universe. We are talking about magnetars, the undisputed champions of magnetism in the cosmos. To give you a perspective of scale, your typical fridge magnet features a modest 0.005 Tesla, while the heavy-duty magnets in MRI machines reach between 1.5 to 3 Tesla. Impressive, right? Well, hold on, because magnetars take it to a whole new level. But the power of magnetars isn't just a numbers game. Their magnetic fields are so strong that they can have devastating consequences on anything that comes too close. Imagine a magnetar cruising through space, its magnetic field stretching out like a giant tentacle. If a nearby planet or star gets caught in its grasp, it's like being trapped in an unavoidable grip. The magnetic field can strip away the planet's atmosphere, leaving it barren and lifeless. It can also cause violent auroras, as charged particles are flung around by the magnetic field's force. In extreme cases, a magnetar's magnetic field can be so intense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. It can make distant galaxies appear distorted and magnified as if viewed through a thin house mirror. But if a magnetar gets too close to another galaxy, its magnetic field can have even more catastrophic effects. It can generate powerful shock waves that rip through the galaxy, destroying entire star systems in their wake. All right. Let's break down the puzzle of how magnetars are formed. Scientists are juggling two main ideas, each trying to outshine the other in explaining these heavy weights. First off, we've got the one that proposed is the amplification of the pre-existing weak fields. Imagine a rapidly rotating neutron star entering the spotlight as it's born in the explosive collapse of a massive star. These neutron stars usually pop up after the iron core of a big star. Think more than nine times the mass of our sun. The outer layers of this massive star burst into a spectacular supernova, while the iron core collapses into a dense ball of neutrons. Following the law of conservation of angular momentum, 
the neutron star spin accelerates as its radius decreases. The more compact the core, the faster the rotation. This is what we call the dynamo effect, where rotation amplifies the magnetic field and transforms the star into a powerful magnetar. On the other end, we've got another theory that involves the interactions of two massive stars. Imagine two giant stars twirling around each other in a binary system so close that they could fit within Earth's orbit around the Sun. The other star in this duo generously donates some mass to the neutron star, making it spin faster. The result? A fast-spinning neutron star with a powerful magnetic field, possibly giving birth to a magnetar. This theory suggests that the superpowers of magnetars, especially their insane magnetic fields, might be a gift from their binary star beginnings. Well, these theories are still being tested and probed. The formation of magnetars is like a jigsaw puzzle, and scientists are putting in the work to uncover more about this mysterious celestial process. Let's dive into the mind-boggling structure of a magnetar, a marvel that pushes the limits of extreme conditions. First off, we encounter the white crust of the magnetar. The surface is not smooth, but rather has a miniature hill-like structure on the surface of the magnetar. Can you guess the temperature of the crust? Well, a magnetar's surface is scorching at 18 million degrees Fahrenheit, making it way hotter than our reliable sun at 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Blazing, right? Well, that extreme heat is all thanks to the magnetar's super strong magnetic field. Now, these magnetars are like cosmic shapeshifters. They shoot out X-rays in red and blue, giving them an overall white glow in the vastness of space. But here's the real kicker, the magnetar's magnetic field isn't just for show. It pulls off star quakes on the surface, cracking it open and letting out bursts of gamma rays. For instance, Satch 1806-20 is a magnetar that's 42,000 light years away from the Earth. In 2004, it sent Earth a gamma ray burst that packed more energy in a tenth of a second than our sun produces in 150,000 years. If that happened a bit closer, we might have been in for some serious trouble, think ozone layer destruction and potential extinction. Now, let's dive into the core, the heart of the magnetar. Imagine a sea of neutrons. Attraction and repulsion turn this mix into neutron balls, or as we call them, Neutron gnocchi, a bunch of hundreds of neutrons hanging out. Go deeper, and these neutron balls link up, forming chains. Dive even further, and these chains morph into sheets. Keep going, and you hit the grand finale massive neutron cores, the powerhouse of the magnetar. In the vastness of space, we have round 3,000 pulsars, each unique in its own way. But wait. There are only 34 magnetars in the known universe. That's right. These galactic anomalies are a rare breed, with only one out of every 10 neutron stars taking the magnetar out. Well, that's good to know because fewer disasters in the cosmos are always a plus. Now, let's talk distance. The closest magnetar to Earth is a staggering 9,000 light years away. Well, when we talk about the closest magnetar being a whopping 9,000 light years away, we can collectively breathe a sigh of relief. Otherwise, our survival would be hanging by a thread. Imagine the sheer force and deadly side of a magnetar, and that significant distance becomes our safety net. But what makes magnetars truly intriguing is their colossal gravitational pull. Picture this, it's so massive that it can bend light, creating cosmic illusions. We're not talking about magic tricks here. It's the sheer gravitational force at play. This phenomenon allows us to see more than half of the magnetars out there. 